Hello and welcome. We've put together this short video to show you how you can register for an account with the Greenfield Self-Service Portal. We hope it will help you register yourself and then you'll be able to take full advantage of the features which will be available to you. These include the ability to book a repair, contact us, make an online payment, see your rent history as well as the current rent situation, report antisocial behaviour and update your own personal information. All of this in real time. From now on and throughout this video, we will be referring to the SSP rather than the self-service portal. We hope this will make it clearer and easier for you to follow. So, how do you register? Firstly, go to the Greenfields website homepage. Once on the website, you can either click or tap on the words self-service portal at the top of the page, or you can scroll down the page to the SSP tile and click or tap on the find out more here button. Clicking on either of these will take you through to the registration pages. Simply click on new user at the bottom left of this first screen. This will take you through to the main registration page where you'll find a form that you need to complete. The first thing we ask for is your tenancy number. But if you don't know this, don't worry, simply enter 123 in the box. Now we need your first and last name. And then please enter the first line of your address. Now we need your date of birth. You can either use the date picker calendar, scrolling through the months and the years, or you can enter it manually using the format day day forward slash month month forward slash year 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 year. So the 1st of May 1977 would become 01 forward slash 05 forward slash 1977. Now, click on the drop down arrow and select your gender. The next step is for you to enter your memorable word. This needs to be something you are sure to remember as you'll need to enter it every time you log on to the SSP. This memorable word must contain at least five characters. Next, please enter your password, again something you can remember. This password must be at least 8 characters in length and contain at least one number. We then ask you to re-enter the password. This is just to make sure it is typed correctly. You'll now need to type in your email address, again twice, just to make sure it is right. When you are ready and have completed everything on the form, click on Register. If the form has been completed correctly, you will shortly receive an email confirming your registration and telling you that you'll receive a second email once we have verified your account. When you receive the second email, it will contain a code which you will need to note, or you might find it easier to copy the code so it can be pasted directly into the verification form. To get to the verification form, you need to go back into the SSP via the website. You will need to enter your username followed by your password and finally your memorable word. Now click on login. 
You will now be taken to a page with a large oblong red box near the top. Simply click or tap the red box and you will be taken to a screen where you can enter the code you received by email. When you have entered the code, click on the Verify Account button. So congratulations, you are now ready to take full advantage of all the benefits of having an account on the SSP. And if you'd like to find out more about what you can do on the SSP, please watch our next video entitled, What Can I Do on the SSP? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.